Uh, my name is George Rowe. I am the studio manager at Thought Den, which is a Bristol based uh, digital design agency. We're here at the uh, Games Jam, which is part of the Extended Play Festival. Uh, basically, it's a 24 hour event where you get lots of people who work in the game industry to come together, uh, get given a theme at the very beginning, and have 24 hours to make a game in that time. Okay, so I'm Owen. I'm a composer and a sound designer. and. Um, I'm here at Games Jam um, at the uh, Pervasive Media Studio in Bristol and the reason that I'm here I guess is because I've been doing sound with uh, interactivity for a, a long time, kind of over the years I've always had an interest in games and this seemed like a really just good opportunity to come down and have some fun, kind of knock about some ideas and see if we can turn something really interesting out in 24 hours. I'm Dan um, and this is the uh, Games Play Weekend. We're going to be making just basic 24 hours to make a game of your choice. It's all based on a theme. Um, this one's theme is mirrors, so George bought a mirror ball. Um, our team is called Team Disco, and uh, uh, I think we just wanted to make a cool game together. I'm Matt. I'm a designer illustrator. Uh, I have been working in print product, and now I'm moving back into digital design. I heard about X-Play through Twitter. That's how I hear about most things. Um, and I decided to come along. It's basically exactly what it, whatever you want to do. You've got 24 hours, that's pretty much it. Whatever you want to do. So there's a real, really nice um, creative element in the fact that it isn't really a certain process you have to follow. You don't have to do this. All, all that pretty much happens is you have 24 hours and at the end you have to submit a game. The theme is Mirror. And we started off with disco balls and ended up at Insects. We started out last night in, with a big scrum to decide who was going to be on the team, um, pulled together people from all the different fields, um, and then spent quite a long time brainstorming uh, different ideas on the theme of mirror. So we get pads full of uh, words and game ideas and such like, and then overnight distilled them down into a more streamlined idea, which we've now been blitzing all day. The theme of uh, the game jam has been mirror and um, the idea that we've got is kind of about mirroring light and using light kind of as a, a weapon against little bugs. We arrived at the idea um, after thinking about how we liked uh, games like British Bulldog and how we uh, thought it could be fun to have a mirror instead of being whacked one on the way through. Um, so you can stitch up your mates basically by playing, so you run along as an insect you bounce off the light from the angry kid's magnifying glass and try and stitch up your mate by burning them instead of you. I'm making the sound basically, so I'm thinking about how um, the whole game world will feel, so the background sounds and whether there's going to be music there, whether there's going to be sound effects, how they can all sit together. Um, and at some point I'm going to have to have a chat with programmers to see how we can kind of make this all join together at the end. But at the moment my job is sitting down making tunes, which is fun. I'm the designer artist in the team, so I create all the assets to be used in the game, like the backgrounds, characters, UI, logos, uh, and I do that all in Photoshop and the guys take it forward. <laughs> My role in the team so far has been classed as miscellaneous, because uh, I've been doing a lot of different little things really. Uh, I've just been creating the logo for the game, uh, I've also been writing some of the copy and sort of working on the narrative of the game. Uh, and I've also been drinking a lot of Sprite. My role in the group is going to be a developer, so I'm starting to learn a bit of Unity with James. Um, it's a very kind of 3D program, um, so I'm going to be making the angry kid and making him move on the stage and uh, try and shoot at the insects coming towards him. On this occasion, I'm here at the Bristol Games Jam um, making a game in all its facets. This 24 hours has gone so quickly, I can't believe it's half four, whatever time it is now, it just flashes past, um, but it's really cool working with the team, having everyone sat around, everyone working next to each other, bouncing ideas off each other, it's brilliant. It's been very exciting, We've, uh, it's been nice working with a new team of people who've not worked together before and using a bit of technology that some people are not familiar with, and, uh, yeah it's been exciting, I don't know what we're going to come up with at the end, but that's kind of part of what makes it interesting. We've got about four hours, four and a half hours left. Three and a half hours left, four and a half hours left. And um, we've got a framework. The sound is there, almost. 
somewhere near. Um, I think it's going to be okay. I think we're going to get something together that's going to convince people of what it is, what it can become. <laughs>